secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent M reporting for duty. Agent M, Marie Vigneau, a famous spy, is active again. She was little more than a child during the World War. However, she was dangerous even then. After the war, she married a French officer, a Captain Boulard, and dropped from sight. Last year, her husband died. Coded messages from her have been found on two spies captured recently on the continent. We know nothing more except that she is somewhere in London. I want you and your assistant, Miss Durrell, to fly there tonight. Locate her and, if possible, make an arrest. Keep me informed. active and in London. Agent M knew the job of locating her in the great city would be difficult unless a lead could be found in Paris. Wisely, he decided to spend that afternoon interviewing some of her dead husband's brother officers. Dear Madame, it was good to hear from you again and to know that your business is prospering. As you requested, I have written to Colonel Argreaves and asked him to get in touch with you. Yes? Can I help you, monsieur? I'm looking for Captain Faraday. Does he live here? But yes, I am Captain Faraday. Come in, monsieur. Uh, thank you. Captain, my credentials. I'm looking for the wife of an officer who died last year, Madame Bula. Do you know her? Oh, but of course I am writing her a letter now. She is in London. Uh, you are a special agent. Is anything wrong? Oh, no, Captain. We, uh, well, we'd like to have Madame Bula do a favor for us. We want her address. I understand, of course, Monsieur. It is here. Wait, I will write it out for you. Madame has a little bookshop near the Seine. Many of her husband's friends keep in touch with her. We place orders. You understand it is difficult for a widow. Yes. Yeah. Here is the address. Uh, thank you, Captain. Oh, uh, you said you were writing to her. Now, the matter I wish to see her on is confidential. I would prefer that you not mention my visit here. When I see her, I will explain. Uh, it will be as you asked, Monsieur the Special Agent. I understand the nature of your work. It is important to my country and to Madame's. I will not say that you called. The 
next morning, Agent M and his assistant, Yvonne, arrived in London. While Agent M waited in a car outside, Yvonne visited the small bookshop owned by the woman who'd been a famous spy. She arrived as the woman talked in low tones with a man who stood idly turning the pages of a book. You are sure you can get this information we need? Have I ever failed? My plan is a simple one. I am a widow. My former husband's friends visit me. They are my friends. Is it not natural for the former wife of an officer to be interested in military affairs? I need only to show my interest. And I am told many things. Hmm. You're a clever woman, Mademoiselle Bignot. Please, you must never use that name. I'm sorry. Many in the intelligence department remember Marie Benoux. My name is now Madame Boulard. Ah. You will call me by that name. Oh, but certainly, as you wish. Now tell me, how soon can you get the information we need? If you will come back tonight, it will be here. I am expecting an old colonel to visit me this afternoon. He likes to sit and talk. He will know, and it won't be hard to persuade him to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'll send one of my men before you close the shop. Oh, you have a customer. Oui. <laughs> if your friend will come in and ask for a copy of Nana, I'm sure the book will please you. Yeah, thank you. I'll wait until you get through with this girl. Si, hey, mademoiselle. Can I help you? Well, I'm looking for a book for a friend. You don't mind if I look around? Oh, of course not. I suggest that you look at these. Thank you. She will be gone in a minute. I know that girl. She is the assistant of Special Agent M. I saw them together in Switzerland. Now, don't do anything until I return. Are you sure of what you have just said? Oh, of course, I'm positive. Now, she doesn't know me. I'm going outside. When she leaves, I'll follow her. Until you hear from me again, don't attempt to get the information I ask for. Now, I'll leave you. Goodbye. Thank you so much for calling. Well, thank you. Goodbye, madam. Outside, Agent M sat in his car and waited. As he watched the shop, he saw the spy who'd been in the shop as he stepped into the street. M immediately guessed that Yvonne had been recognized. Without waiting, he drove away. A minute later, Yvonne came out. Finding M's car gone, she knew something was wrong and went immediately to her rooms. Two hours later, M joined her. M, what happened? When I came out of the shop, you were gone. You were followed, Ivan. Did you see the man in the shop when you went in? Yes. He was talking with a woman who must be Marie Bignot. They were in the back of the store. That man was Alex Kroll, a dangerous spy. He must have recognized you, Ivan. He left the shop as soon as you came in. But he waited for you outside and followed you when you came out. Oh, well, then they must know we're here. Yes, they probably suspect. Crow didn't see me. I drove away as soon as he came out. Then I circled the block and followed him. You let him here. He made several inquiries about you and then went to his room. You followed him? Yes. Then I reported to K-7. He'll be followed wherever he goes from now on. Well, if they know we're here, it will make it harder. Perhaps not. Marie Binyu may attempt to finish whatever she's doing and leave the country. And if she does, we'll trap her. Did you overhear anything in the shop? Mm, not much. They stopped talking when I entered. But I did hear tell the man you call Crow to send someone for the book Nana late this afternoon. Someone was to ask for a copy of Nana? Yes. Her exact words were, if your friend will come in and ask for a copy of Nana, I am sure the book will please you. Yvonne, that information may be the key to our problem. Marie Binu has never seen me. You're going back to the shop? Yes, Yvonne. I am going for a copy of Nana. A few minutes later, Agent M entered the small bookshop. It was almost closing time. Yes, monsieur? I would like a copy of Nana, please. Oh, you, you come at an inopportune time, monsieur. I have no copies of the book left. But I don't understand. Madame, are you sure? Monsieur Kroll instructed me to ask you for the book. He said that you would understand. Monsieur Kroll sent you? Why, yes, of course. 
Oh, I didn't know. If Monsieur will follow me, I have the book ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands over your head. Fool. Did you think I would fall into your trap? Quite a surprise, Polly. Did you arrange this crow? Get it, gun. Here it is. Now, this isn't going to be any party for you, Agent M. This time you're going to pay for your interference. I wouldn't be too sure. We'll have time to talk later. Get him out the back way. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, don't move. Either of you. K-7. All right, K-7. I've got my gun again. I was sure that as a result of my call to you, someone must have followed Kroll here. There was no one available, so I took the assignment myself, Agent M. You can't arrest me. I've done nothing. We have two coded messages that were signed by you, Marie. Didn't you? I think this book here that you've just left to send out of the country will also prove interesting. I'll open a case, Evan. Yes. Here's the answer, case, Evan. A small pinprick has been made under words on each page. The words with punctures under them make up the message. These books were sent out as merchandise, but each one contained a secret message. A clever plan, mademoiselle, but it didn't work. I arrest you and Kroll as spies. messages by making small pinpricks under words. Others mark letters. The pinpricks are so small as to be unnoticeable except under a magnifying glass. Other tricks used by spies will be exposed in future broadcasts. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.